Hello. The purpose of this movie is to go through how you will submit your entries for the Canyons District Film Festival now that we are having all submissions done electronically through a Google Doc. The first thing that you'll want to do is log into your CSD Docs account. Every Canyon School District student and teacher has a Google account created for them. Um, so I'm going to open my web browser and I've gone to just google.com and you'll see on the right hand side that there's a button that says sign in. When you click sign in, if you've already used this computer uh, to log into this account, you will see that that account is listed there. For teachers, you can see that it's first.last at csdocs.org. For students, it will be your student username, the same one that you use to get onto the computers at school. And then you'll add at csdocs.org onto the end for your username. Your password should be the same password that you use to log into the school computers. If a different account shows up here, you can always click sign in with a different account at the bottom and add your CSD Docs account to the computer. And then go ahead and click sign in. I've actually already signed in, so I'm going to open up my Google Drive. If you're not in Drive when you first log in, remember that this collection of squares can be clicked on and you can click on Drive to get there. So you will need to be in My Drive over here on the left hand side, which is where I already am and I actually created a folder to put my film festival submissions in. So once you're in your account and you're on your Google Drive, you can click this red New button to select the file from your computer that you will be uploading. When you click on, no, on New, you will want to click File Upload. When you click File Upload, you can see that it brings you to this map of your computer. You will want to know where the file is uh, on your computer so that you can upload it. An easy place to put it could be on your desktop or um, since mine's a film submission and not a poster submission, I have put my film into my movies file. So I'm going to click on movies and then I know that the name of the movie I'm submitting is Tech Madness. Okay, so you'll want to select the movie that you have. Notice that because mine is a PSA, I'm double checking that the time is less than a minute. This year you'll want to be very careful that you don't go over the time recommended for the category you have chosen. Also notice that the name, the title of my film is very clear um, so that when I upload it there's no confusion about which movie it is. Then I'm simply going to click open. Then you'll see that the item starts to upload into your Google Drive. We'll give it just a moment. And the, the larger the file, the longer this will take, but you should have enough storage in your Google Drive to be able to upload it. It might be helpful, if possible, to upload at school since the network there is a little bit faster than it might be at home. Um, Okay, since I can see that it is now uploaded, I'm just going to click that X to have that little window go away. And I can see that Tech Madness, my video project, is there in my drive now. So now, if I click once on that drive, you can see that it's highlighted because of the blue around it. Then up here, I've got this little icon with the person and the plus sign. That's my share button. I can click on the share button. And I have a couple of options. I can enter specifically the name of the person I want to share it with, but since there will be several ed techs wanting to view your submission, what we would like you to do is to click up here where it says Get Shareable Link. So we'll click on that. And then if you leave it as it is, it will allow people in Canyon School District to just view your project. But if your project um, is nominated, we will want to download your project so that we can include it in the materials that we have on our website and for the night of the awards. So please change Can View to Can Edit. Okay, anyone at Canyon School District with the link can edit. Then you can simply click Copy Link. 
and you can see the link is now copied to your clipboard and I can click done. So now that the share settings have been set up correctly for this file, I can now go to the entry form for the film festival. You can find that on our film festival website. I've actually already pulled up that form. You can see that on the form there's some basic information for you to read through at the top here and some of the rules and regulations have been listed here for you to review. Okay, and then you'll begin to fill out the form. So the first question is what is your name? We realize that there may be uh, teams of students or teachers who are working on the project that you're submitting. Um, so we need one main person who's the contact person for your group to be listed here. Okay, please read these little instructions and comments. They'll give you little hints for making sure that you enter your information correctly. Then the second question is uh, the place where you can put any other students who are listed on your project. Um, this does not need to be your credits. For example, if you had someone uh, who was an actor in your film but wasn't really part of the project itself, you don't need to include them here. This is only the students who should get credit or in other words, if they were to win, should get an award or a certificate for helping create the film. Um, and you decide who that is. Um, then we'll need your contact information, phone number and email address. If you have a Twitter handle, we'd love to know what that is because we often post submissions, winners, information, and it's nice to be able to tag you in those posts on Twitter. Um, then you're going to select the school that you attend. You're going to include your teacher's name. Please include the first and last name because if we need to contact your teacher about anything um, or if you're nominated for an award and we need to contact them, we'll need to be able to email them and for that we need their first and last name. You're going to let us know your grade and the title of your film or poster. Remember that that title should match the t title that you put as the name of the file that you're going to include. Uh, check your spelling, capitalization, all of that because the way you put it in here is the way we'll put it onto any awards you might win. Uh, you're going to put how long the film is. Please read the instructions for how you should enter the time. And if you're entering a poster, just put zero. Remember that this year, if you go over the time limit for a category, you will not be eligible for a prize. So be careful about that. Okay, then you're going to choose the category that you will enter your project into. For teachers, it's always teacher film. And for students, you'll select what kind of film you created. And sometimes it's difficult to decide which category it really belongs in. Uh, so you're going to have to decide. <laughs> you'll have to pick one. Um, it should be based on what kind of film and the content. But sometimes when it overlaps maybe into a couple categories, time might help you decide uh, which category to to put into. Okay, finally we're here at file submission. This is why in our Google Drive we copied that link that you created because this is where you're going to simply click in the box, paste, we'll do edit, paste, and it will put the URL of your document or your film right there into the box that's how we're going to have access to your actual file that you're submitting. Please note that if you're uploading a film, you should include it in either .mov, .mp4, or .m4v file format. When you're exporting your movie from whatever editing software you're using, that's where you get to choose what kind of file it's being exported as. If you're uploading a poster, Remember that it should be a .jpeg, .pdf, or .png file. And again, when you're exporting from whatever software you created your poster in, that's where you choose what kind of file you want to export it as. If you have choices and you're not sure which one to choose, um, my preference is actually .png, but any of those three would be fine. If you're making your poster by hand instead of electronically, you'll need to scan that paper copy so that it can be digital and you can put it into your Google Drive. 
All right. Then finally, you're going to type your initials as your digital signature three times. One, to verify that everyone in your film has permission to be posted online. Um, the second one is to verify that you're not breaking copyright. And the third one is to give us, Canyon School District, permission to post your work onto our website, Twitter, advertisements, whatever else we um, need to use it for. And then you'll click Submit. Uh, notice that if you, um, any of these items that have the little red star next to them are required. So if you submit without having those completed, it will not submit, it will tell you that you're missing something and you need to go back and look for that. And then there will be a message after you submit giving you a little bit of information of what happens next and some of the dates um, and information about uh, how you will be notified if you are um, nominated for an award. If you continue to have questions after watching this video, if you run into any trouble with exporting your projects or uploading them to Google Drive, uh, please be sure to contact your school's educational technology specialist. They'll be happy to help. And on this form, I've put a link to the page on the Canyons District um, website that takes you to a list of all of the ed techs and what school they work at so that you can get a hold of them more easily. Thank you and we're very excited to see what you have created for the film festival. You can always email, email me with questions as well. My address is katherine.blunt at canyonsdistrict.org. Thank you.